Hi, I'm Russell Crumley with the law firm of Crumley Blackwell Wisda and Associates. And uh, today's question is about property division and a question I cannot believe I hear it as often as I do is my husband tells me if we get divorced, I will get nothing. Uh, we have a house, then whatever else. And that is just ridiculous and absurd. If you come see us and we represent you in a divorce, one of the things we're going to pray, we're going to provide you with lots of documents, which is how we build your case. Well, an important, an important document we're going to provide you with is a domestic relations financial statement. When you get that thing worked out and finalized, we're going to put an exhibit sticker on this and we're going to give it to the judge so that the judge consider how the property should be divided. It starts out with a full page of necessary monthly expenses. Uh, it includes mortgage, utilities, food, clothing, automobile insurance, gasoline, uh, food, telephone, money. If you give to the church, it's pretty exhaustive. And it doesn't pretend to contemplate everything, but it sure gets your mind going in the direction it needs to go. And you'll think of things uh, that are not in here that apply to you. Um, have a, a page where you will record the monthly income of both parties um, from your primary source of income, your primary job, but if you have other sources of income, it will include that. Real estate, yeah, your home that you live in, if you have rental property or a vacation home, though there's a place for those to be listed. It will include how much you owe on it, what is the house worth, uh, what is the monthly mortgage payment? If there's a rental income, what is that income? All these items of information go into calculating how the property will get divided. There's a lot of detail here. As they say, the devil is in the detail. But this is how we get to that detail, which is critical in representing you. Financial accounts, bank accounts, checking accounts, uh, savings account, IRAs, um, stock market, mutual funds, you name it, there's a place for that. Retirement accounts, uh, automobiles uh, and boats, whether they're paid for, how much is owed, what they're worth, and a host of, uh, you know, just a list for you to put your credit cards and balances, etc. And then uh, to end it, there's, there's a page here that allows you to list the items you brought into the marriage where they inherited. Um, did you buy those individually? Were they gifted to you? Um, and um, uh, inherited items. All these things get worked into helping us uh, work out a plan for division of the property. Allows you can't reach a fair agreement if you don't know what all is there to be divided. And of course, if you don't reach an agreement, we have we are able to put together a package that allows us to tell the judge and show the judge what we think would be a fair distribution that would protect your rights. If you come hire us, we're gonna give you one of these documents. You're gonna get it filled out. We're gonna help you get it completed. And that is how we will build towards helping you get what you should get in the division of property subject to your divorce. Hope this is helpful. Um, and if you hire us, remember, relax. We've got this.